there will come a time where people will live to regret everything that they have ever inflicted upon me. And I mean everything. There is not one single person upon the face of the earth doing the devil's work against me that is going to go left unpunished. Every single one of you are going to be punished heavily, and I mean heavily, for everything. And not one bad deed that you try so desperately, to co desperately even to cover up is going to go left unpunished. What each and every one of you fail to realise is that I am a beacon of light. And everything that you ever inflict upon me is only being brought to light. It is being mirrored onto each and every one of you that are doing the devil's work. And each and every one of you are going to come off worse. I'm not. And I'll tell you why I'm not. Because I am still to this day adamant in regards to make the choices and decisions and make the relevant sacrifices needed to be made in order to become the man that I was destined to be. And I don't care how long it takes for my life to fall into place. It's going to be worth it all in the end. And those of you, like I said, that spiritually and psychologically stole from me, as well as projected your own hurt, pain, suffering, and only God knows what else onto me 24-7, is going to eat every single one of you up so badly that your souls are now actually in fact consumed by your own greed your own evil doings wrong choices poor decisions and by the time each and every one of you come back for your golden ticket is not going to be anywhere to be seen. And why do you think that is? Because he has actually burnt bridges to those of you that continuously and ruthlessly use and exploit. And he is now ready and waiting for the people that God himself has actually in fact placed within my life because my heart and my mind via the Holy Spirit do not lie and if it means I have to wait and wait and wait and wait then I will wait while I laugh at the very expense of each and every one of you that rile yourselves up and rage out towards yourselves or because your plans backfired Miserably yet again. And you want to know how you've met a realist? I'll tell you how. Our life is actually in fact everlasting. It is sacrificial. It's not based upon feelings and emotions and short temporary pleasures like everybody else. Where it offers them temporary hits of joy, temporary hits of happiness and all of these other things. Only for them to be left empty and void and back to, you know, to square one. Us on the other hand, that you spiritually and psychologically steal from. Us that actually put in the real work. We build it up in here and in here. And yet, 
a lot of people have the audacity to try to label us as um, the manipulators and this and that and the other, all because we refuse, like I said, to allow people to take advantage of us. When in actuality, in reality, it's everybody else that are persecuting us 24-7, treating us like a laughing stock and a mockery, that are actually, in fact, the manipulators, the backstabbers, the gaslighting, intellectually underdeveloped dickheads. Like I said, people, the more you keep this satanic, you know, game up, the more it's going to backfire, it's going to backfire, it's going to backfire, it's going to backfire. So much so, you are now, each and every one of you that is, left, falling to your hands and knees, seeking out unto God the Father himself for deliverance. And that fake smile that you pretend to wear, at the expense of others' pain, um, other people's pain and suffering, is going to be our happiness. It's going to be our joy when you have your pride and ego snatched from you, from the presence of the Lord Himself. And you also know you're a realist, like I said, because you pretty much attract everybody and anybody. Good people, genuine people, real people, batshit crazy ass clown people, and only God knows what else. You know, other people. We attract it all, you know, in all forms, that is. But now it's knowing how to use spiritual discernment in order to cut off the gas that, uh, gaslighting manipulative dickheads that are only in it for themselves in order to make room for those that are genuinely in deserving to be a part of my life. End of discussion.